series of election victories for Dallas Democrats expanded this year into tra traditionally held Republican seats. And grassroots neighborhood groups are being hailed as the reason for that expansion. Our Steve Pickett, live in East Dallas, to explain. Yeah, it was actually community groups, specifically here in East Dallas, parts of Richardson as well, community groups trying to get some of these candidates, you see those names behind us, get elected. Well, in this particular case, they saw some of those investments pay off last night. You ready to go? The victory speeches kept coming Tuesday night. Democratic candidates for seats based in Dallas County soaking up the success of a dominating election night. <laughs> well, that's what makes us different. And that feeling continued at this table. We were screaming so loud when some of those results <laughs> came in. We were so happy. Three women who organized a year ago. We grew from a group initially of... 33 was at our first meeting. 33. To build a Democrat-based coalition in their own backyard, East Dallas. Well, we have ever... Well, right at 3,000 people now on our membership list. Joe Cochran, Joe Sutton, and Christy Noble started the Feds, funky East Dallas Democrats. The Feds fuel community political activism for Democrats in north and east sections of Dallas over the past year in seats traditionally controlled by Dallas conservatives. And so we had to show folks that there is somebody who thinks like you down the street, around the corner, across the street, and then there's two more, three streets over. The election of Colin Allred over Pete Sessions showcased their success of getting Dallas County Democrats out to vote. Well, they were so important, and these groups formed themselves. You know, some of them started off as maybe election night watch parties in 2016. We haven't always had that kind of engagement and activity here in North Texas, and that's really important for us. It's really important for our democracy. Uh, Colin Allred also telling me today the feds and the other uh, community groups will also now be holding him accountable in that seat. Reporting live, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News. Steve.